Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. I'm very excited to be working with you today. It is a Lady Death Day. So I am working for Coffin Comics right now, and I am drawing a Lady Death Queen cover. And I was given permission to let you all know that this is going to be an exclusive for Coffin Comics Sworn Fest in 2022. Woohoo! So, um, I'm working on the pencil sketch right now. So what that means is that the layout, which is, you know, a step above a stick figure, was chosen by Coffin Comics, and the now I'm working on the sketch. That's where I start planning out the outfits, um, the overall look, really putting in the details. All these details, however, are still pending approval, so don't get too attached to anything because stuff is subject to change. <laughs> Christopher, Miguel Castro, Bo de Bruin, hello and welcome to the stream. Wow, I already have a red <clears throat> warning. What for? I have a dropped frame. Sorry, everyone. Jeff Martin, hello and welcome to the stream. I need to darken my camera a little bit. <clears throat> Jason Coates, hi. I'm so happy that you commented from Twitch. I was worried that maybe Twitch wasn't working. <laughs> and that would be unfortunate. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I need to turn down the light situation here. Uh, so it might get really dark really fast. Sometimes my computer likes to play tricks on me. Okay, there we go. We're a little bit more human looking now. Okay. Fix that. Done. Alan, hello. Philip, Devin. You're home from your Northern Ontario adventure. Yay, welcome home. Okay, so like usual, I am using my Alvin Draft Tech, whoa, no, okay, we're not too bad. I'm using my Alvin Draft Tech 0.3 millimeter pencil. This is my favorite, it is my precious, it costs a whopping $6. Um, Mono Zero um, eraser, it's very thin, good for detail. And then the Mono Stick, which is a little bit more chunky, and the eraser is amazing. Uh, Alan, no, I'm not coming to Dallas. I am extremely sorry about that and sad. Um, but no, right now I'm staying in Canada just because the border crossing, I haven't quite figured out all the rules yet and how to do it. All right, I'm going to turn down the light on my current cam as well on the art cam. Let's see. <laughs> I sure did, Philip, but it was bean spillage with approval. That's an extra special kind of beans. <laughs> Thank you for asking, Alan. Thank you for being interested in my being at the show. That means a ton. And hopefully soon I will figure out the travel guidelines. It's mostly getting back into Canada. I'm an American citizen, so actually getting into the U.S. is really not that hard. I'm also a Canadian citizen, but it's a little harder to get back into Canada. <laughs> Ooh, fancy, fancy, Jason. Well done. High five. Nader, hello and welcome to the stream. Okay, so um, I was given the task of... Um, and I like this with how um, Brian Polito, who is the creator of Lady Death, does his art assignments. It's really cool. So what he said is, um, my task for this one is to do Lady Death Queen. Um, so I'm working on designing her a crown, and I'm supposed to put her in a cathedral style setting. So I'm going to do like stained glass windows in the back. I have not designed what I'm going to do and I need to use a ruler in order to like 
make sure that all the lines of this, the windows are even and parallel. It's the worst. <laughs> I don't like rulers. Um, and then her outfit, I need to make her decked out and bejeweled to the nines. So right now I'm working on her um, naughty outfit is what Coffin uses. So they, uh, I always do two outfits. I do one main outfit and one naughty outfit. Um, from the art notes, I'm guessing that the main outfit is going to be some sort of very decadent gown. So I have a rough sketch of that and it is already um, mapped out and I have it as a patch right now. Um, and then I, um, for this one, I'm going to make her naughty outfit also super bejeweled crazy bejeweled. <laughs> That's a real tough one to do because I want to make sure that it has the lady death essence, but then also is bejeweled AF. So um, I'm going to work on that with you guys. Usually I try to have a little bit more of an idea, but I've gone through about five or six ideas today. And some of them were really cool and I wish I had thought of them for a different cover of Lady Death um, that the, the art note wasn't to make her bejeweled because I found a fun way to do her usual leather outfit and then I'm like oh shit wait I need to make her bejeweled AF that's not really bejeweled <laughs> Nathan Hurt hello um we are under flood watch. Oh my goodness, Philip. I hope you're okay. Sergio, hello. I'm doing great, Nader. Sorry for missing your comment there. Stanley, welcome to the stream. Good evening, Rob. I hope you're doing well. Are you back home? You didn't know there was water in Arizona. <laughs> Rhinestone leather. Yep, it's, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely something I thought of, absolutely. I was gonna maybe do rhinestone uh, detailing on the leather. And so um, I had that, but it was still too much leather, I think, for the art note. Now, granted, you know, art notes are definitely left open to artist interpretation. <clears throat> but I get really anal about art notes and you know, I try to follow them to the nth degree <laughs> Maybe that's a real shortcoming in my brain um, It's possible um, But for now, I'm really gonna try to do the jewel situation Keeping those ideas in a notebook. I took a picture of it Jason, so I do have it for posterity <laughs> Paul, hello! Welcome to the stream! In before your phone dies. Oh no! You have returned. Welcome back home, Rob. You've been missed. It's great to have you back. Speaking of phones dying, I should plug in mine as well. Okay. Have teeth out. Great way to spend your birthday. Oh no! Well, for starters, happy birthday, Nathan. And I'm so sorry that you have to get your teeth pulled. That sucks. <laughs> you lost your top fan status. Gifts you have to come on more often. Oh no! <laughs> Shauna, hello! <clears throat> So um, I really wanted to um, have her hair flowing down by her. This is a real, this is a regal drawing, as best as I can do, right? Um, and so I'm working on trying to make sure that she has a real regal vibe to her. And, you know, that she's kind of, I mean, not fully. I tried actually putting both of her hands on the crown in a sort of I'm crowning myself queen 
sort of way. But, you know, when I, I moved the arms a bunch of different ways to try to see if there was a way that it kind of had a nice weight and balance to it. And I was sacrificing the look of the cover um, as a whole for that crowning herself vibe. So now I just have one hand up and the other hand is down kind of here. And it works really well for her dress that I have where she's kind of pulling the slit of her dress. And then here I might put some like jewel chains or something coming down and so she's pulling those to the side as well. That's kind of where I'm going with the lower hand. Any beans for Saturday of the rewind print? The rewind print, I can do beans, it's a tonal. Um, as far as which print is gonna be the limited 25 set, um, Dan said no beans. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry that I missed Tuesday. I really had to um, focus and try to get a bit more done on this one. Okay, so the task for today is to draw out the candles. So I have two candles here. I'm going to just put this here right real quick to make sure that when I turn on the light table there you're not seeing through. Yeah, okay, you just see the tape. Um, so this is sort of the plan, though I've decided not to have these little swirly quirly things here. Um, but everything else will stay. Um, it's just a little too busy up around her head, I think. Um, so yeah, the, this is what we need to do and get the candles in and all of that stuff. Her panties, I just drew them because it makes it easier for me to kind of map out the body and the pelvis bone. Uh, but those are not going to be that style either. I have heard of Christopher Lovell. Very awesome work. Long time no see. Hello, Jason. We are doing well. Thank you. I hope you are too. Could you have a cor coronation thing, a skeleton giving her the crown? I've already drawn the cover. I'm not trying to do anything else, but it's a good idea, Devin. All right, so she is slightly off center. The actual center of the cover is right here. So I measured that and put in a center line, um, mostly so that I can work on the background. Armando, I'm not taking any commissions right now. I'm very sorry. James, hi, hello. Welcome to the stream. So here I'm going to have a diamond situation um, and it needs to come down a little bit more. This new lady, oh, thank you at the fan art. No, I meant, I guess. Oh, okay. Does Brian limit you to just Lady Death on the cover? No extra characters or whatever? Um, no, he, he doesn't limit me. Um, but as far as a piece like this, um, you know, if I had had that idea, and I'm not saying it's a bad one, Devin, it's a great idea. Um, I, I would check with Brian and see how he felt about it, but I didn't have that idea, so I've got a, um, this part of it has already been approved. And the main thing, the, the art note that I received was Lady Death Queen, not Lady Death Coronation. I just was kind of thinking that might be kind of fun. Um, and as far as then you're getting into, you know, story theory, story plot line, would a skeleton, you know, 
coronate her or would someone else, you know? So that's why I was thinking she'd coronate herself. Zane, hello, Sloppy Octopus, hello, welcome to the stream. Was there an answer to your question? No, I'm sorry, I need to go back. The way you're drawing the body in detail, is that dress going to be sheer fabric where the skin partially shows through or having a risque alternate? Uh, both. So I'll probably need to get a ruler and measure all of this out as well. But for now, I'm just doing this. So I looked at like cathedral windows to try to make sure I'm doing the, um, to try to make sure that I'm, uh, you know, making all the, the various uh, framing elements correct to, you know, how I'm doing this and how they're usually done when they're made in stone and all of that. And there's usually quite a few, um, I don't know what the word would be, but like windowsills. <laughs> there's a lot of levels to them. So um, that is something that I'm working on now. Okay, I need to do one more. And then I'll put little connector pieces to the stone and all of that stuff. I just like finding the boundaries that get laid out on covers. Oh, that's awesome, Devin. And I hope I didn't seem like I shut you down too much. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, sorry that we're having buffering. It does seem that I uh, am having a little bit of a buffer situation on my end. I do have a few red, um, I do have a few red notifications. Oh, James, is that your natural hair or did you dye it? Uh, what I'm doing, James, uh, is a few months ago I decided to uh, embrace the fact that I have more white hair than black hair now, um, and I am, I bleached out the black, fried my hair to death, but now I don't have to dye my hair as often. Like this whole side of my head, I no longer need to bleach it. I just put in a toner kind of thing <laughs> because it's already white. Just some drop video. Well, that's encouraging. Yay. <laughs> Twitch is a little screwy for people. Okay. Well, at least it's not just me. Hello, Juan. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Tell Sherlock to get off the router. It's not his <laughs> bed. <laughs> nice. Thank you, James. I'm glad you think it's a good idea. Uh, after a little while, you know, when it's fine to have some black hair growing and having black roots, for instance, and mine is very salt and pepper roots. Um, and I can leave my hair now without having to do anything to it for like three months. Whereas before it was like every week I wanted to dye my hair. Um, I would push it to about three weeks and it was just, you know, white undergrowth. It was not, not my fave. All right, I'm just opening Twitch here real quick so that, you know, if anybody raids or anything like that, I can see who did so that you guys don't have to always be letting me know. <laughs> okay, just getting that going. I might have a few follows to, yes, Art Screen, thank you so much for the follow. <clears throat> okay, so back to work. I'm thinking at the base of all of these uh, crystals or rubies or whatever color I make these stones that are making up her crown. Um, I am going to put some kind of like either gold or silver filigree stuff at the base of it so that it you know looks a little bit more like a crown. How old are you? I am 43 years old. 
I started going gray when I was 14. <laughs> when salt and pepper hair turns 90% salt, it's time to stop pretending. Couldn't agree more. I'm just hoping for more and more salt. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dave Chestnut. Much appreciated. So I want to put some something or others here. Um, I do have like a little stone jewel situation happening on her forehead. Now, initially I had had the jewels kind of all flo flowing down. Think, you know, like a crown that's got lots of extra chains and stuff. But the thing is, is Lady Death's trademark, trademark is definitely the way that her hair is in the front of her face. Um, now, sometimes I'll fuck with that. But for this one, I would like to very much keep those kind of hot, high, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. N nice big high part situation. Of course, if you just shave it all off. Oh man, I've thought about it many times, Rob. You're in my head. Too young for gray hair. <laughs> James Rodriguez, hello. Base of crystal can be black with transition to purple. Very cool idea, Tanya. So, this is the naughty outfit that I'm doing right here. I have a bejeweled dress planned already. That's ready to send to Brian. But I'm going to put um, her risque outfit which is a little bit more your classic lady death at least in the plotting and placement of the items and as such i feel like for whoever is going to get the original art of this they'll th i'm imagining that they'll prefer seeing lady death a little bit more as lady death usually is with a bejeweled outfit um than a gown so that's why i'm putting the this outfit here So, I'm thinking to give her a ring on this finger, honestly, just to show the perspective here. So here I'm going to have a ring so that you can see that her hand is kind of going away from us. Um, <clears throat> I want to put some jewels here. I'm going to make this all jeweled. So the center of her face is off from the center of the page. Is it a bejeweled cover like they have done in the past? That I honestly don't know, Devin. I think those decisions are made after Coffin Comics has the art and they're deciding what to do. It probably even has to do with what my cover looks like versus what somebody else's cover looks like and which one they feel would be more appropriately bejeweled. I'm guessing. Literally, I have no clue. Um, it's honestly very cool of Coffin Comics, specifically Brian Polito, to even let me know where this cover is going. Usually, I don't even know that. So, you know, it's very cool. He was like, tell everyone um, that this is going to be a Swornfest cover. That's awesome. I don't know if usually my covers are planned or slotted when I'm drawing them or not. It's kind of a surprise for me, just like it is for you. <laughs> <clears throat> Woohoo, Tanya, that's so cool. And it's almost your lucky number 25. It's close, it's, it's closer than most, <laughs> right? The 25th is your birthday. <clears throat> 25th of September, I remember this because my sister's birthday is the same day. I am really shit at dates, usually. I have never done Marvel covers, no. <laughs> Brian's working the hype train, yes. Hopefully people will feel hyped and excited about this cover. I hope to do a good job. You know, these things really matter. And, um... I really want to make sure everybody's happy with it. 
I remember, love you too. <laughs> so you can add elements to suggest bejewelment. Well, I can, or I'm just, I'm going to add jewels. Like, so I'm gonna draw them, I'm gonna color them, all of that. And then what, what happens if, big if, it becomes a actual bejeweled cover, they'll place them generally where the jewels are drawn and colored. Um, but then, you know, for a print, for instance, m for the most part, prints aren't bejeweled. So then you'll just see the, the drawn jewels, um, if that makes sense. Maybe legendary status gets you knowledge of where they're being used now. <laughs> um, who knows? I, I really think, though, that this one is just slotted for that. So um, I was given that prior information. But no, I'm definitely not entitled to prior information. I'm not entitled to be in the loop. This time I just got the kind offering of said loop. <clears throat> Aw, thank you, Rob. Thank you, James. That's so kind of you. Christina, hello, lovely. Uh, how have you been doing? I've been doing great. Thank you so much. I hope you have too, hun. All right, we're doing big hair on Lady Death. We're doing the jewels. And I have been getting a little tiny bit of shit from people lately uh, that all my panties that I draw are pretty much the same. I'll be honest. In my opinion, there are only certain cuts of panties that make a body look the way that I want it to. As an artist, I'm talking about a character is essentially, for a cover, my mannequin. And there are only certain undergarments that I like on my mannequin, right? I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit this time just to not be boring for everyone. <laughs> okay, if a Marvel editor approached you to make a cover for a title of your choice, which would it be? That is a very interesting question. Hard one to answer. You know what? Okay, let's put it this way. I would like it if I was good enough to say Spider-Man. I know for a fact that buildings are my nemesis and I don't really think I could draw a Spider-Man flying through the air with, you know, web all around and fucking buildings from like the craziest angle possible. I wish I was good enough to answer that. Since I'm me, <laughs> I would probably choose Mary Jane or Black Cat. Hello, angry fat vegan. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Don't listen to these peasants. <laughs> I will call you vegan. No, kind of mean <laughs> reading the rest. <laughs> it's great to have you here. So I, uh, I should probably do this. Okay, guys, you're going to see me look at myself for reference. Don't make me uh, wish I hadn't done this. I need to look at my elbow. And I am aware I have skinny ass, gangly. All right. And it would be kind of like this, a little bit to the side. I have to move that way. Okay. So I'm drawing her elbow a little bit too pointy. You'd like to see me do a Wolverine art because you love my work. Thank you, James. I would like to draw a Wolverine as well. Um, but I like the, the, the movie Wolverine with the jeans and the shirt. <laughs> uh. 
if you draw there is a certain hubby that just got outed <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> nice one zane gotta respect the traditional artist thank you vegan i appreciate that Could probably rework the White Widow cover to make a Spidey cover. Ah, that's very nice of you. All right, so this just needed to be softened a little bit. I went really pointy on her elbow. Been forever since I picked up original pencil and paper. Do you work digitally usually, vegan? Thank you, much appreciated, I'm honored. So I feel like Lady Death though, she's Lady Death, she needs a skull. If I can add one in. It might not work with my design, but I'm kind of thinking to do a skull right here on her hip. You've been loving Procreate, ooh, nice. Yeah, Procreate is fun. And you know, I, I'm grateful that you say that you um, like seeing traditional art. I have to say though, like, yes, there's the undo button in digital that makes the world a better place, truly. If there was undo or control Z in the real world, all my problems would be over. <laughs> Painting with a broad brush, but you know what I mean. Um, I personally, have a really hard time with digital. So like, I know that, that the temptation is to be like, well, you know, traditional is harder or whatever, whatever, but I personally find digital harder. So mad respect to those of you who can do it. What the fan art, shout out for you. Yes, Juan, my beautiful elbow is the reference. <laughs> Mr. E, hello, hello. Yes, digital does have its challenges and I think every medium of art does. You know, there's, there's difficult things in traditional art too. I would say namely that lack of control Z fear. Um, Right now, I'm going through a little bit of a fear stage in my life, and I am a little bit too chicken shit to complete or even begin a lot of the things that I'm trying to do because I am trying to work on a comic book series that is all traditionally painted. May not be my best idea in the world, but we're going with it. If there was a control Z or undo in the real world, all my problems would be over. <laughs> so anyway, um, mad respect. All I'm trying to do is give props to those who work in digital art. And like what the fan art said last time, and you are right, what the fan art, um, that it is very possible. And a lot of people do excel at it in making digitally done pieces look like they've got that traditional feel to them. They have the texture, they have all of that stuff, you know? I think for me, the thing that's so hard about digital art is the, the fact that there are no constraints in it. But I think I've told you guys this before and it really fucks with my head. I do have an undo in the real world. It's called denial. <laughs> Oh, Zane, hearts. Carmen, hello, welcome to the stream. That is a good point too, James Rodriguez, and thank you. So Carmen, I don't know if you saw in my long ass email, but Brian gave me permission to uh, let everybody know that, oh, I think you already know. 
Yeah, that this is going to be a Sworn Fest exclusive. Whoop, whoop. So will the Sworn Fest logo be behind her or in front? Does Sworn Fest have a specific logo? If so, I'm totally stealing that idea, Mystery, and I'll see if I can incorporate it somewhere. That would be cool. Because I'm trying to think of what to put in the, in the stained glass windows. All right, so I'm thinking to make her top really loose and flowy. I want her to have a serious bejeweled situation. I'm not going to go lace here. Desdemona, thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Oh, vegan, thank you so much for the follow. I'm at 4,986 followers on Twitch. I would love so very much to reach 5K. So every follow counts. <laughs> Does that mean you could only ever get it at Swordfest? I honestly don't have that answer for you, Christina. Um, all I know is that is it is a Sworn Fest exclusive. I haven't been to Sworn Fest before. This will be my first time. Yay! Um, and so I honestly don't know how all that works. If they'll have like a Sworn F Fest exclusive that people who can't go to the show will get. I, I don't know. It's just the lettering, Sworn Fest 2022. It would be in red. Sorry, not really a logo. Damn it. I can't steal anything. <laughs> um, thank you for letting me know. I don't know where they will put that. But I am leaving room at the top. Um, or, you know, they can put it wherever they want. Sorry, I just puffed in. What is Sworn Fest? Oh, Death Day. Um, Sworn Fest is from, it is a convention made by the comic book publisher called Coffin Comics. And it's a place that, uh, it's like where they host their own mini convention where everybody can go and sort of celebrate the characters from this publisher called Coffin Comics. So I'm wearing their t-shirt right now. Um, and their main character, though they have many, um, is Lady Death. And so I am drawing a Lady Death cover right now. A lot of the cons and fest exclusives recently are heavily available online for a limited time around during the actual fest con. Cool. Alberto, I have drawn comic book pages. I work on a series called Divinica, and I draw all the interiors for that series. I've also done some interiors for uh, Rothic Comics as a whole, and I um, did some interiors for DC Comics and for Xenoscope Comics. Christy, hello! Love your Lady Death work. We'll talk to you later. I'm gonna go get a bite to eat. Okay, thank you so much for stopping in. Have a wonderful evening. Oh, yay, thank you so much, Philip. Here we go, we will do, I'm gonna post this to Facebook. So here is the, the link to Coffin Comics Sworn Fest. I'm just going over to Facebook, hold please. And um, so if you wanna sign up for the convention, uh, you absolutely can. And this piece is an exclusive for that convention. All right. I'm going back so I can see everybody. Christian, hello. Flues boy, welcome to the stream. Oh, you got me already. Rob, you're amazing. Thank you. 
Okay, for me, digital only gives me awesome color control, but has even freed up my creativity in the early sketching stage as I'm working out the posing and proportions. Micro adjustments, resize the head, yes. There is a lot of fluidity, you know? Like, if you notice something like, oh, maybe that eye is off, um, you can just tweak it. That is really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Welcome to the stream. So as far as the bejeweledness, I'm thinking to do something sort of like this, where it's like not even really holding up her boobs at all. I'm kind of going for the loose and flowy. <laughs> in more ways than one um, for Lady Death here. You know, she's, it's basically like, think a, a micro vest with little chains in the center. Um, so that's sort of what I'm going for and it's all bejeweled something. Tom, hello, welcome to the stream. What colors are you planning for this piece? I don't have any plans yet. It will be a nighttime cover. <laughs> Hello, Doom. Okay, what colors? Okay, I already said that. What's your favorite medium? That's a good question, Doom. Um, my favorite medium is you know what? I am on a journey of exploration right now. I would say the medium that I am the most comfortable with is pencils. But um, I am trying to learn oil paint right now. And of course, I'm always trying to get better with watercolor. Uh, I'd say the coloring medium that I feel proficient in is Copic marker coloring. So here I'm doing panties and then a like belt, a fun belt situation that's just multiple chains. Oops, I wasn't even here. So I want the chains to kind of be swooping down, but they I don't want them evenly placed because when they're evenly placed, then it doesn't look, it doesn't look realistic. Colonator, hello. I don't understand what you say. Would you mind writing me? Um, I can try Alberto. So mm, I don't know what kind of like if I want to make this mesh or what. Okay, so it would go. thinking maybe it's just on the front and kind of doesn't really go beyond that. Just two teeny little flap situations. <laughs> Hello, written by Estevez. Oh, Team Laddie and Raiders, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, Devin, that is so kind of you. <laughs> All right. Thank
thank you so very much for the raid team laddie would you um if you would like to post any of your links please do so oh yay i said your last name right yay okay i want to go take a look at your channel team laddie I'm going to go look at your channel. Want to see what it is you're, you were working on. Ooh, awesome. I will give you a follow. Thank you so much for bringing your people over here. Welcome, everyone. I'm so impressed, Team Laddie, that you know um, Brian Polito's the Lady Death Creator's uh, name, that's so cool. Uh, I am working on a cover for Coffin Comics. So, um, of course, everything that I'm drawing right now is still pending Brian Polito's approval. Um, I wanna say that a fair few times so everybody knows. <laughs> and I may be doing something slightly different when it's the inking live stream. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> I'm just going to fix something. My clip is stabbing me in the head. Oh, no wonder I'm not seeing anyone's comments. Thank you, Ms. Art already. Thank you, Tom. Yay. He's a cool dude. Met him once. He really is. Tim Laddie, oh, it's Tim Laddie, oh no, but Team Laddie is how it says. He draws for Ghostbuster, TMNT, Plants vs. Zombies. Wow, sweet. Please feel free to post your links. I gave you a follow on um, Twitch, but please post your Instagram or anywhere else that we can find and follow you. I'm sorry, everyone. It looks like we are having some issues. Let me see if I can get Team Laddie all the same name. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get myself a um, Dan to help me out here. Sorry, everyone, about the um, the choppiness. I'm I'm seeing with Dan if perhaps he can give me a hand. All right, I'm gonna go look. Team Laddie on Twitch. I mean on Instagram. Team Laddie. Sweet, and giving you a follow. Yes, he is, Philip. Guys, I'm really sorry. If we're still running into issues, I will, um, I will, I guess, not, not go live. I'll end the stream if we're having too much trouble here. Thank you, Team Laddie. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm thinking... Something kind of like this, where there's just a little, a little tiny covering of her boobies. And then it's connected by a bunch of chains like that. So it kind of comes down in the center. So I want to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to erase a bit more since we're going for really sheer and basic. Yes, I am Carmen. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I mean, all of this depends on um, approvals, but I'm thinking to, hmm, I'm thinking to have the, um, the sheer version or like the jeweled risque outfit on the original and then I have a gown planned for the patch. Um, and just because it's a lady death piece, I, I'm figuring that I should um, have the, the version that's the closest to her regular outfit be on the original. But I may change my mind on that. We'll see. Okay, Dan says my internet is perfect. What advice would you give to cartoonists who aspire to a job opportunity as a cartoonist in American comics? Um, I would say the best thing is to <clears throat> get your art out on social media, build a social media following as best as you can, um, and then start contacting various uh, publishers and companies and, you know, asking if they would take a look at your work, um, See if they uh, have any input for you on what they'd like to see you change, all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Christina. Well, no, Zane, <laughs> he was talking about the internet. He checked our upload speed and download speed, and we've got good speed and everything seems to be going well, so it must not be on our end. At least that's the guess. Okay, so we've got bejeweled situations. We're going to have some hanging beads here. Let's get a skull going on. I think I'm going to do a skull here. And I can make it like a fully bejeweled skull as opposed to like just a gold one or something.
maybe I'll have the um, like bit and bridle style for um, for the skull here and for the chains that are coming off of it. So it'll just be coming off the skull like that. And then she's holding them in her finger like so. Yeah, it seems like we're having bad video, which is really a bummer. I'm so sorry, everyone. We will just call it time delay for a time lapse. Yeah, wow, I am completely frozen. Let me see if there's something I can do. Quality. the low latency toggle. Okay, let me see if this will work. But it's just the video, the sound is great. Okay. Well, I'm going to give it a little while longer, and if it's still being problematic, I guess we'll just have to call it a day for tonight. <laughs> and I'll try again, I don't know, tomorrow or something. This is kind of fun. I might totally change my mind with all of this stuff. We'll just have to see. The sound is spot on. Well, yay. <laughs> At least there's that. But, you know, it is an art live stream, so I'm sure everybody that can't see the art is a little irritated. Okay, so then these will go back behind her fingers. And this will all be little jewels and stones. 
This stuff is so tedious to color and draw, but it ends up looking really nice. So it's worth it. <clears throat> soul hello welcome to the stream Uh, Alberto, the way that I draw faces, no, that is not a rule at all. It's just how I like to do it. In the end, I may decide I don't like this and I'll change it, but for now I'm giving it a chance. No, you haven't missed anything, Jason. I actually have it on my plans to send around a Kickstarter update tomorrow. Um, so just so you're aware, it will be coming tomorrow. I don't have, um, honestly, I'm, it's kind of sad news at the moment. We just, uh, we found out from our printer because we were expecting it to be ready to ship. Um, but we found out from the printer that they are experiencing a higher increase in COVID cases um, in their region. And so they are experiencing staffing difficulties right now. And they're probably not going to have all of our stuff printed until uh, the end of August and are ready to be shipped at the beginning of September. Um, so it's a bit of a delay for us. We were expecting everything to be done by now. Um, and I'm really, really sorry about that. Though this weekend I, um, I've been working on everybody's thank you cards for the original art and this weekend I'm going to start mailing those out. But anyway, we will keep you updated. Yes, of course. And thank you so much for supporting our Kickstarter. I'm definitely being an annoying nagger to the printers because, you know, I'm like, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Can we get an update? <laughs> so hopefully I will not feel relaxed until the Kickstarter is fulfilled. So believe me, I'm motivated to get it done and printed and into your hands. But absolutely i will be writing up an update tomorrow so you can keep an eye out for that but it's gonna say exactly what i said here so at least you guys are aware <laughs> 
Doing her best, yes. I am the kid in the back seat on a road trip. Absolutely. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, really, Hanu Soul? You guys got the same notice? Yeah, it's, uh, they, uh, usually hire more people, um, in the summer months or something like that, and they, they can't staff, um, correctly right now. No worries, Alberto. It's all good. Well, I really don't want to be one of those stories, Carmen. <laughs> like, not at all. Speaking of Carmen, um, can I find out from you? I'm not sure if you... Um, you may have told me what you wanted for the bedazzling or pizzazzing of your Nokomis piece. If you haven't yet, can you let me know? Thank you, Zane. So much appreciated. Thank you all so much. Thank you. I don't even know if any of you can hear me right now. Or if you know that I am responding to all of your very kind words and your patience, but it means a ton. It's a 0 0.3. Sound is still fine. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, yes, 0 0.3 HB. Alberto, I write everything that I use in the description on my Facebook video, so you can always see that. Quality is worth wait. While we are doing our absolute best to get you guys ridiculous quality. We are sparing no expense on all of that. <clears throat> we should have just the sparkliest, prettiest, best finishes.
Devin, that's so awesome. <laughs> Heard that before, then the running and the screaming. Oh, lol, Hanusol. I need to come up with a bejeweled plan for her garter as well. Or really more, it's just stockings here. I'm very grateful that I have such a good eraser so I can sketch on this and then I can actually do the final on this as well, and I shouldn't have too much issue erasing everything that I've done in this giant mess. Very, very proficient eraser. It's good at what it does. Thank you, Alberto. What the fan art, you're so awesome. I really appreciate you adding that one to your collection. Thank you so much. I'm erasing some of the other ideas that I had that are kind of still all ghost-like in here. amongst erasers. placement of this needs to move over because her neck is there. So it was going up a little bit too high into where her neck is. Guys, welcome to the tediousness of kind of trying to come up with outfit ideas. They definitely take time. It's not a fast and easy thing, that's for sure. Gotta try things, see what works, see what doesn't work. You all know about girls in outfits taking time. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bahamut and 
Floofies Floofer, thank you so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. Ooh, and Pin Her Down, thank you for the follow. Name night. Hello and welcome. True story, you will have to wait until my noodling phase blows over. Thank you, Philip. Much love to you. So I'm going to have to just really look this over at the end and be and think carefully. Like, do I think that this is good enough? Am I, you know, am I being lazy anywhere in not trying anything else? Or is this truly the best idea I can come up with for this version? You know, and I think it's really important that I that I ask myself those questions and I don't let myself off the hook. Like sometimes I just don't have a better idea and anything else I try is worse. But other times, you know, I maybe can try a bit harder and something else will come, you know, and it's not like I have a lack of ideas. I have plenty ideas, but some of them don't all work. You know, like my other idea that I had for her outfit, two outfits back, really worked, really looked great if it was a normal Lady Death cover. But for something like this where it needs to be highly jeweled, it wasn't quite right, you know? So I just need to keep trying. Yes, everybody's getting stream lab, lag. I'm really sorry. Thank you, Keeman.
Okay, so I'm trying this out. I'm going to see how it looks for basically a fishnet style um, diamond encrusted necklace thing. So it'll be, you know, open fishnet, but then it's all um, connected with diamonds. So the whole thing is bejeweled. I think the only thing that's not really working, in my opinion, in this whole ensemble is the top. So I kind of like the way that it hangs, but it's not really working with the overall look. So I might need to get rid of that top. It's just not really meshing correctly in my opinion. I believe I can probably try harder and do better. <laughs> That's awesome, Zane. The jewel bra from Victoria's Secret. Well, that is a great idea, Philip, but that bra, I would say, is probably copyrighted to them, so I have to come up with my own shit. For the best. I wasn't a huge fan of how it was covering her hair strands over there. So, take seven. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, right, Jason. That would be funny. Copywriting lingerie seems criminal. That sounds so yummy, Hannah's soul.
go. Fixed. <laughs> David Ray, hello. Welcome to the stream. Today I'm working on a Lady Death cover, and yes, I am aware that we are having some buffering issues. Um, I don't know what it is. My internet seems to be working fine. It may just be uh, Twitch or Facebook glitching out. <laughs> nice, Jason. Have a good one, Hannah's soul. Thank you so much for stopping in. James, hello, welcome to the stream. No, I don't think I'm going to do an open like this situation. And it could really just be that that is off centering everything. <laughs> Thank you, Juan. Try something like this. And then maybe maybe it just comes to a point with nothing really holding it up there. And then we do just tons of falling. Like a little curtain. A booby bejeweled a bejeweled booby curtain. <laughs> it was Katie's birthday yesterday. Oh my goodness. Happy belated birthday, Katie.
I can't do that either because then that makes it not not a sheer top then it's like a patterned bejeweled situation so I can't do fishnet style here guys I'm so sorry I know that this is tedious and time consuming thinking I might want to bring in some of the jewels like the like her crown and maybe that's what's missing is I just need to make it all far more jewel encrusted and that might kind of tie the room together I think that might be some of the issue here we tried something where it's like all stone encrusted here and stone encrusted here. And we went more in that direction. Then I could just do maybe, you know, a little bit of sparkle on this, but it's just sheer cloth that's being pulled together into that stone. And into the stone here. Thank you all so much. Rocky Road, thank you so much for getting that print. I'm so happy to hear that she arrived. Yay! So yeah, maybe I'm going to go with the stone motif all throughout. And as such, I'll do some kind of stone situation here too. All right, I think... I think, I think it's starting to come into focus just a little bit more. Let's do something kind of like that. You want a ruby skull somewhere? <laughs> it's actually a decent idea, Devin. I'll try to see where to put one. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I can put it on her actual main outfit. Ooh, that would be fun. I haven't really decided what colors I'm going to do all of these things. That's going to be an interesting thought. Is what color to make all of this stuff?
There we go. Put a couple big stones here, Just shooting out in a few different directions. Yay, theme is coming into focus. I have a question for you or everybody actually but um, I was reading the other day because one of the kids was asking like why uh, why is um, cheddar cheese so orange have any of you guys looked up the whole thing with it let me see if I can find yes there's an article uh, how 17th century fraud gave rise to bright orange cheese <laughs> Oh my god, if you haven't seen that, I bet you you'd be interested, Devin, since you're a foodie and it's facts. At least I believe it's facts. Gotta turn down some of the white balance going on. We are seriously odd coloring today. Casual hero, thank you. Yeah, I'd never heard of it before. I, I didn't realize that it was a whole it was a whole thing with the cheese and why it's that color and all of that. Very fun. What? You're in content? Well that must have been for a very long time ago. No, it's like artificial dyes, and they did it to make it look like fancier cheese. Had to do with, like, the, the cream content in the milk, and I guess what the cows were eating, or something like that. Uh, tonight is Thursday's usual. I'm going to move on for a little while because I feel like I'm spinning my wheels and I'm still not even sure that I like this dress uh, or this outfit yet. So I'm going to move on here and I'm going to start working on the cathedral windows, figuring out what I'm going to do here, and then also trying to do some measuring. We're going to do some math. 
So, let me get, so from here, we are exactly <clears throat> 1.7 is the first line. Yes, it is. Yeah. Goodness gracious, I can't even use a ruler properly. Damn it. This is not the dress version with the fan art, but cool. <laughs> Justin, hello. It's crazy that you're on Facebook right now. <laughs> All right, and then there's a four. How's it going, Justin? So it was four. Two, two. So one, two, three, four, four, and then two and two. Two, four, and two, and two millimeters, because I'm just trying to get the, um, the rest of the ridges in the wall and of course some of this stuff is actually going to be covered by the candles that i've got going on oh my god i cannot use a fucking ruler This ruler is the best though. I love that it's actually long enough for a comic book cover plus extra. See you later, Christina. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'll catch you later. Alright, so there's those. Now I just need to measure the um, distance between this. So it is 2.9. 2 .9. 2 .9. There we go. See you later, what the fan art. Have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging out. Two, two, three.
the stream. Stone Cold Snake, thank you. Welcome. Lucia, hello and welcome to this stream. Happy Thursday. Was able to greet the Wonder Booty. I can leave completed. <laughs> You're so awesome with the fan art. Have a great evening. Matias, thank you. getting all the stone ridges in. Last one. Swiss Quartz, hello! <laughs> it's funny, Justin. Okay, so I've got that part done. Uh, no, my kids aren't back in school yet, Ted. Um, in Canada, the school year starts September 1st this year. Usually it's September 6th, but this time, yeah, it starts on September 1st. So we are a little bit of a later schedule than the U.S. Thank you, Philip.
Okay, so I do have some of this mapped out on this piece. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Okay, now these things, I still need to figure out exactly how I'm cutting all of this stuff. Some of it doesn't quite make sense to me yet, like I'm, I've got all these lines, but then I'm like, okay, wait a minute, how is this going to look nice? You know, what can I do to make this look good? And I'm starting to confuse myself just a smidge. Just a teeny weeny bit. <laughs> so here it is. Five, six, seven all the way to the seven centimeter mark. Let's see about this side. Exactly. Take it to the seven. There we go. got your eye on chat. <laughs> yeah, it can get pretty confusing. That's for sure, casual hero. That's hilarious, Rob. Okay, so now I'm going to work on getting the two candles in. So these are going to be right about here. haven't completely decided how I want to design them but I do want them to have like a decent cathedral look since that is what I'm doing here is a cathedral style background <laughs> oh that's funny Justin meth lots and lots of meth Jay Satori thank you welcome to the stream today thinking I might want to thin out the candle a little bit. It's a little bit overpowering for its placement. 
get that back in there. And I need to learn how to design a stained glass window. So I do want it to have a coffin verse feel to it. Um, you know, maybe like a skull on this side and a skull on that side and then, you know, going down on the side here. I'm not entirely sure. The only thing that would give me pause as far as doing skulls right on either side of her, um, either side of her head like this is it might compete um, with Lady Death herself. So I want to watch out that whatever I put in the, um, in the stained glass window areas is not going to compete with her. So it's always a little bit tricky to put heads near your main character. Um, if you're going to do that, the main character needs to be way bigger. Their head needs to be really overpowering, stuff like that. Would it be too much? Well, it's more of a, a competition thing for, you know, the w split second that a viewer is going to give this piece. Yes, I'll be coloring this piece. Getting a bunch of wax going down the side of the candle. I think that's just got a real cool kind of goth vampire situation going on. Um, it just works with Lady Death, I think, and having super drippy, waxy candles is very important. And then it's nice because the candle light will create a bit of a rim light and backlight. So like all here will be super illuminated on her elbow. Um, it'll probably cause some illumination on the side of her hair. Now Lady Death is white white, like ghost white. Um, so in the coloring, I'm gonna really drop the background back. So it's a night scene. So even though I do plan on doing stained glass windows, I'm not gonna make them very colorful. At least that's my plan right now, is it's literally going to be single tone or maybe two tone at the max um, stained glass windows. We are not going to do every color. Um, and certainly not how they're usually done where it's like all the primaries. Bright yellow, bright green, bright, bright blue. <laughs> it's a little much for what I'm going for here. Um, but I'll see. Maybe multicolored situation will work, but I doubt it. Steve, hello! Have you been here the whole time or did I just, did you just get here? One centimeter. Here we go. One centimeter. Almost perfect. Tying it up. And one centimeter 
here. Okay, and then I'm gonna just mark where it starts, which is right here. And right there. There we go. Oh, he popped in the same time Mark did. Oh my god, and I missed saying hello. Shoot. Sorry, Steve. How rude. I've got to be honest, I'm pretty excited about dinner. Usually, um, I have a snack in the afternoon, but I didn't feel like it today. And now I feel like having a snack. Now I miss my snack. You were very late, but I missed you. Sorry, Steve, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Steve needs some comfort meth. <laughs> Did something happen, Mystery? Are you um, are you having to delete a lot of comments? Are we getting spammed? know who the favorites are? No! You all are amazing. Oh my god, I want to get some Spam and try it. It's been so long since I've had it, and I do remember it being quite delicious. So, yes, I think that's going to happen. stressed kiwi and welcome to the stream you're on your fourth day of a five-day fast oh my goodness unnamed night why what is up 
Kiwi, thank you so much for the follow and moist discharge. <laughs> thank you for the follow as well. So kind of you, Stress Kiwi. I'm sorry it's a little light right now. I'm working on the pencil sketch. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to wave a ruler at you like that. Um, but I will be working on the inks either tomorrow or on Sunday during my live stream. And then it is digital coloring time. So at least with the inks and the digital colors, you'll be able to see a bit more. Um, and then if you thank you for following me, uh, since you seem to be interested in digi uh, traditional art, which thank you, I actually uh, work on drawing and painting all the interiors for a comic book series that I work on um, for um, with a friend of mine. It's named Divinica. It's about goddesses and the whole thing is hand drawn and painted right now with oil paint. So I'll be working on that too. Dawn goes at the chat with her ruler of discipline. I didn't mean to. Occasionally do a body cleanse, especially to help restart my diet. Longest I've gone is seven days. Makes you think, rethink how we as a society overeat. Also a very spiritual experience. That's awesome. Mad respect, I couldn't do it. I love watching Dawn's pencils, it's probably my favorite. Mark, Oh, thank you. How's it going with your Divinica drawing, by the way? I am so excited to see the final. Just started to draw, so looking at other artists gives me a lot of inspiration. That sounds neat. Awesome, thank you, Stress Kiwi. And congratulations on your, your art as well. I'm here to answer questions if you have any. Otherwise, all the best in your work. Dawn did five days of kettlebells for ramen, almost the same. Oh man, there's been such a ramen dearth in my life. I think that's the right word. It's been a ramen famine. But last week I did all five of my workout days and I got my ramen. It was glorious. Hopefully I will make it this week too, though it's not looking good. I do so love waving a ruler at you all. <laughs> I think I look more respect worthy with a ruler. <laughs> Tea time, thank you. I haven't been able to draw in a few days, but hopefully this weekend. I totally get it, Mark. I'm sure you're busy, and Divinica is not an easy one. Mostly I'm overwhelmed where I should start. There's so much. Yeah, wow. I'm so sorry. The, the overwhelmed thing is very common. It happens to us all. Um, that's literally why I jump around on the page, because I get overwhelmed and slightly bored. Um, but yeah, I think the main thing is, is like thinking about, I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you what to do in any way. Please feel free to completely disregard and ignore me. But I think the main thing is to figure out what you like in art and then start with that. Nicely done, Stress Kiwi and ADD. <laughs> oh, my stomach is about to start growling. Ooh, well done on perspective studies. I was in comics for many years as a professional artist before I started being like, ah, fuck it. I have to knuckle under and learn perspective. <laughs> so good on you. Shame on me.
Yes, Justin is recommending meth to everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Unnamed Knight. One of my co-workers makes them and she is originally from the island. It's such a treat. Okay, the island conversation. I think I missed the start, center, and end of that one. <laughs> what I'm very excited about for dinner tonight is that Netflix in Canada, at least, finally got a few more seasons of Hunter Hunter. So we just rewatched with Lore, our son who's at uni. Uh, we just rewatched everything up to last night was the final episode that we all have seen. And there's two more seasons that just got put on Netflix. So hip, hip, hooray! Just like you did murals on people's walls. I'm having my first new house built. Yay, Geo, that's awesome. Not rich, but because nothing built to buy. So I'm homeless till it's built. Oh, sorry. I like drawing digitally more though, because I don't have any art stores near me. Closest one is two hours away. Oh, wow. You subscribe to Scott Snyder's online class. Nice. You're in rural New Zealand. It must be so beautiful there. And digital works, absolutely. There is nothing wrong with that. I am thoroughly confused, Devin. Thoroughly, thoroughly. our population lives in one city. Oh, wow. Good evening, Matthew. Welcome to the stream. True story, Stress Kiwi. <laughs> Whoever made the Black Roses suggestion, respect. I think that's actually a pretty decent idea. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best! So, 
candle one, candle two. Mm. So I need to move this candle over a little bit so that it's in the same spot as the other one. So I'm gonna have to do that afterwards because I need to get it from there. In two minutes, I'm going to start looking around on Twitch for who we should raid. Because I, uh, I definitely want to raid tonight. I don't have to run and cook dinner. Dan is already on it like a winner. So grateful for him. So I can afford to uh, raid somebody. Beefinitis. <laughs> An unhinged bull virus. It's like mad cow disease, but more sophisticated. <laughs> ah, funny. All right, I'm going to put a little something on her wrist here, I think. So, guys, you know, um, I'm sorry that I kind of spent the entire live stream working on and changing her outfit a bunch. And <clears throat> I gotta be honest, I may not keep this one. I haven't decided yet. Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, let's go see what they are. I see them? Did you say? Shadow Legends. Okay, I'm gonna see what they are. Right now I just look them up and don't see anything. Oh wow. That's a big channel to raid. It's a little intimidating. Oh. Well, how was I supposed to know that? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to ignore you, Steve. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so it's called Raid Shadow Legends. Classic, because I'm just like, there's 660 viewers and 217,000 followers. That's scary, no thank you. never trust it but the thing is is I'm so gullible and I'm way too trusting that is my problem so you can get me pretty much every time I will fall for it I will be so genuine in my falling for it like an idiot <laughs> well um I got a suggestion to raid Cryomira Ooh, cool art. Damn. Nice. Yes, we will raid them. Joe learned that lesson, not me. <laughs> Good night, Mark Riojas. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I am very sorry that... Um, 
I am very sorry that my channel has been glitchy. 13 minute to triple dessert. I wish. JL Draco. Okay. Thank you so much, Keevan. That's not true. You didn't trust us. That is, you're right. You're right. I stand corrected, Juan. Much to learn. See you later, unnamed knight. Thank you. Okay. Let's go raid. I've got a few votes for raiding JL. See you later, Jeff. Have a good one. Everybody, just don't forget that Saturday is when the new print is coming out, so you do not want to miss it. Well, yeah, it's a new print, and I only have 25 of each of them, so if you want it, uh, subscribe to my email list, because that's really the only way you can get that piece. Um, any that are left after Saturday morning, you know, maybe after a week or whatever, then I'll let everyone um, on my Facebook and all those channels know, but otherwise it's really just first come first serve to my email subscribers. You will be the first ones to be aware. You're setting your alarm now. Thank you so much. Right, it's free comic book day this Saturday. I hope you all have a fantastic one. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to raid. We're going to go raid JL Draco. D-A-Y-E-L. JL Draco. Okay, so we're going to go give them a raid. I'm going to start the raid now. Wow, it's so much easier to do it this way. <laughs> I'm in my actual creator dashboard, which is quite handy. <laughs> I never have to remember if it's a backslash or a front, front slash or anything like that, which is awesome. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for hanging out with me, even though we had a little bit of a glitchy stream. I look forward to hanging out with you on Sunday. Um, until then, take care of yourselves. And I will catch you later. So much love to everyone on Facebook who is watching. Thank you for the shares and the comments. You guys are the best. Let's go raid.